Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome to my channel. Um, as always, I need you to hit me up with that HBO special. It just means help a brother out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm fairly close to 600, so, whew, man, I'm getting there soon. I'm getting there soon. Um, my goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. I'm going to keep putting in the work because I know I can make it happen. I just need you to hit that subscribe button for me. I most definitely appreciate it. And it's free of charge. Um, <laughs> and it helps support my little one, my four-year-old. Um, so let's just go ahead and get to the topic of this video uh, for the See He Bravo tweets that went viral this past weekend and my thoughts on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you read them right now. Boom. Okay, so you should have read them. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole lot of something. Um, like, that's just wrong to me. Saying that this person who quote unquote held you down through the bad times, making her think that there's a future when there isn't one. So you're gonna go ahead and get rid of her. Like, I don't like that. Um, especially when it comes to love. There is a, there's a thing called karma and it will come back and bite you. Um, this is gonna tie in with my next video probably, which would be about hitting the wall and my thoughts on that. So he, he he's misleading this woman, probably telling her, hey, we're gonna get married, all that stuff, just so he can get a new job and then leave her for his preference. He's also getting a whole lot of flack about the preference part because people are automatically assuming that it's a white woman. I don't know. Or, you know, um, white woman, light-skinned Latina, light-skinned black woman, and they assume that the woman that he's with is dark-skinned. I don't know that. I cannot verify that. And I can't verify what his preference is. Uh, but I can say that what he's doing is very wrong, and he's playing a very dangerous game. Um, because I'm pretty sure he wouldn't like that if someone did that to him, even though his tweet suggested that if his girl wanted to leave him for someone that was well-established, he would just chalk it up to the game. I mean, that is part of the game, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be. Like, people are already talking about each gender is, is emotionally unavailable anymore. And when people do things like this, and they wonder why. Um, because you misled this person, you made them think something was gonna happen and it wasn't. Um, I, I understand people grow and their, you know, their thoughts and feelings change over time but he's already setting it up that he's going to leave her. Like, she's just here because he's broke. That's what I don't like. And us, us as black men have to do better. We can't sit here and say that we are the providers and we are the, the protectors if we're not doing the protecting. Um, man, that shit is crazy because, like, let's just say he breaks up with this woman. And this woman gave, I don't know, I guess like a year, two, three years to this man for him not to marry her and then go off with another woman. That's going to crush her. Now, hopefully, you know, like she picks herself up and she continues on with her life. But that could be devastating to somebody. You know, we have this thing where like now, especially now in our generations where everyone's trying to get over on someone. Like you can no longer be vulnerable because... You know, that person's looking to screw you over and you're looking to screw over the other person. Like, that's not how life's supposed to be. You know, we make it more difficult than, than what it really needs to be. Um, that shit is just crazy, man. Like, I'm reading it and then, like, you know, I'm reading the comments and stuff and, and the IGs and all that stuff. And, like, you know, everyone's agreeing with him, both men and women. And everyone's like, yeah, if I find someone else better than my, my man, I'm going to leave him. And I'm like, man... This shit is crazy. Like, maybe I'm a little bit of an old school mindset, but like, I'm like, I want to find that person 
you know, I want to have what I already have and take what they already have and build upon it, you know, get married and like have a nice little life for ourselves. I'm not sitting here looking like, oh, I'm going to have you just for now. And then when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and drop you and go get that. No, because if I wanted that, I can go ahead and try my best to go and get that um, without having to drag you along. That shit is crazy, man. Like, to see both black men and black women agreeing that they should be doing that to each other, that has a real cause for concern. And that hurts me. Because, you know, a part of my channel is wanting to bridge the gap between the gender war of black men and black women. But when we are, you know, when we're out there trying to screw each other over, we have to take you no know, blame for that. We have to take blame for trying to hurt the opposite side, you know, trying to pull a fast one, trying to finesse, you know, whatever whatever term you want to call it. It's just not right. Uh, if you want to be with someone, be with that person. I can understand as you get older, you know, you may fall out of love, you may not want that person anymore, but to deliberately say, I'm only going to be with this person because of this, and then I'm going to um, leave them. I hope that comes back and bites you in the ass 10 times fold. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I hope that bites you back in the ass because you deserve that. You're going to get what you deserve. You don't play with people's feelings because that is like, that, that can be some deadly shit. Like, that's just like, I'm not even talking about man or woman like that. Just the human psyche. That can be some deadly shit. You don't want to fuck with that. Um, so, you know, try to be a good person to the opposite person. Try to, get, try to be a good person to everyone. But especially if you're trying to build something with that. I'm not going to say with the opposite sex because it can be, be with the same sex. You know, you could love who you want to love. No judgment. Just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You're trying to find, you know, that life partner, marriage, whatever you believe in. Some people don't believe in marriage. You know, that life partner that, that you can be with for the rest of your life. Not, this is my meal ticket until I can get something better. That's not right. Because that person's not a car. You don't just sit here and say, oh, I'm going to drive this beater until I can get a Ferrari. No, that's your Ferrari right there. I'm not saying that you have to stick with that person forever, but don't go in it with that intention. Um, other than that, that's just my opinion. I hope you like it, subscribe, and I love you. Peace.